Welcome to short highlights of the 86th edition of Genthevelkem in Flanders Fields. 173 riders started in Ypres, riding under the Menin Gate and heading eastward towards Wevelkem before riding back towards the sea to take in the Moors de Muren and uh, the expected high winds, which were forecast, and boy, did they turn up as well. After that, it's the traditional final quarter of the race where all the hells, the Hellingen of the Hoovelan, take place, including three plugstrats as well, the plug streets, the farm strat of the farm tracks, the ploughed farm tracks the riders have to take in. We had an eight rider breakaway at the beginning of the day. That was absorbed. You're joining action here as they rolled in direction of the Kemmelberg for the first time. Very select leading group that had been reduced and reduced all the time. The eight riders had already been reeled in by this point. They were into the Monteberg as well. This was the first time hitting the Kemmelberg from the slightly easier Belvedere side. Thankfully everyone onto it pretty smoothly. It was a warm sunny day in West Flanders and Mathieu van der Poel was enjoying it just two days after winning the E3 Classic on Friday. The other riders having a particularly good day were those riders from Lidl Trek. Jasper Sturvent and Mads Pedersen in particular looking good as was Jonathan Milan. Well, in between the first and second ascent of the Kemmelberg, there were lots of flurries of attacks as well. And Jonathan Milan would find himself out front being chased by Lawrence Pithy, the young Kiwi for Group Armour FDG as well. Lawrence Pithy on a really good day in Gent Wevelgem today, as was Jonathan Milan doing a brilliant job for the Lidl Trek team to take the pressure off Mads Pedersen. Look at this group they had chasing as well. Lawrence Pithy in there, Mathieu van der Poel, Mats Pedersen, and van der Poel would choose to use the Plugstrats, the plough streets, the ploughed tracks across the farmland to really lay on the pressure and continue to reduce that leading group. And that he would do too. It wasn't quite the day for Visma Lisa bike as they had one year ago when Wout van Aert and Christophe Laporte rode clear to the wind because this would be what was again being reduced at the front end. Jonathan Milan being caught, the Italian rider, and as soon as he was caught, Mads Pedersen going on the attack. Lawrence Pithy just using cleverly Mathieu van der Poel to get across that gap as well. And there would be four in the lead. The young 21-year-old Kiwi doing a brilliant ride for Group Armour FDG in there. And of course, with the numbers, Little Trek would play the game again. Jonathan Milan going back on the attack, once again taking the pressure off Mads Pedersen in that group, chasing them. This was the second time that Milan had gone clear. What a spring he's having as well. This was on to the Kemmelberg again. Uh, Jonathan Milan gone by this point and an opportunity for Mads Pedersen to lay the pressure on. And actually at this stage, Mathieu van der Poel having a few difficulties just hanging onto the back wheel of uh, young Lawrence Pithy. Those three still clear, but look at the chasing group behind. Final time onto the Kemmelberg in the hardest direction, up the Ossier side, and it was in the end just that that did for Lawrence Pithy. So close to hanging on to Mads Pedersen and Mathieu van der Poel, the current world champion and the 2019 world champion, as they started the descent down the Kemmelberg and back in the direction. The final 35 kilometers to take them into the finish in Wevelgem. This was the chasing group. Ben Turner had kicked it off, the British rider for Ineos Grenadiers at the back there. And by this point, we knew we were due to be treated to a sprint finish between Mathieu van der Poel and Mads Pedersen. They were taking pretty even turns, quite long turns being taken by Mathieu van der Poel to get him to the finish, knowing that he had Jasper Philipsen, his teammate, in this group behind, and it was a group that had swelled as well, initially, in the end, being driven on by Sudar Quickstep. They went under the Flamme Rouge 1K to go with about 40 seconds or so to play with Mathieu van der Poel and Mads Pedersen. We knew we were treated to be ready to be treated to a fantastic sprint finish. Mats Pedersen would lead it out, Mathieu van der Poel would wind it up, and we waited, waited for van der Poel to come off the wheel. He did so, he rose up alongside Mats Pedersen, and then knew he did not quite have it. Mats Pedersen taking his second win in Gent-Wevelgem in Flanders Fields. Mathieu van der Poel 
gracious in defeat, knowing he'd have to wait for another year to add this race to his already ridiculous Palmares. What a fantastic sprint between two great champions of our sport right now and a very worthy winner from a very worthy team in Lidl Trek and Mads Pedersen. Well, it had been a dry and sunny day out in Flanders and a beautiful addition, it has to be said, looking down on the terrain for Grint That was the top 10. Matteo Trentin with a really deserved 10th place as well. Jordi Meus, the best of the Belgians, winning the bunch sprint ahead of Jasper Philipsen. Don't forget, of course, you can catch it all back at the Home of Cycling on Discovery Plus, where you can watch all of the racing coming up in these next two brilliant weeks that lead through Flanders and into Paris-Roubaix.